All right, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to check uh, to see if your TCU unit is capable of Bluetooth hands-free. A lot of the earlier year E60 BMWs with the early production date, uh, BMW actually installed a TCU unit that was able to do Bluetooth hands-free calling. Uh, for some reason, I'm not too sure why they didn't activate it uh, so you can use it but there's an easy way to check if yours does have it and all it will take is just coding it so that you can activate it um, the TCU unit is right back here so that's a telekinetics module it's easy to find out it's what you gotta do is just lift this up and then there's gonna be two clips here that hold this in place I already removed it one here and one back here so this just pops out and then you're going to want to look behind it because the TC unit is back there. But to get a good look at the Bluetooth, uh, so to see if it has Bluetooth, you're going to have to push this forward. There's going to be a clip right here and also right here. You just remove those clips and then this will push forward. So this is the TC unit. And as you can see, there is a Bluetooth logo. When I verified that the Bluetooth logo was there, um, from what I what I was reading online is that you can just activate the Bluetooth. So what I did was I just coded the Bluetooth on my uh, with coding, and I activated the Bluetooth, and my hands-free calling worked perfect. It actually I have I've had no issues with this since I've done it, and which has been a couple years now. I just never got around to making a video until I got a request about it. So for those out there that don't have hands-free, have an earlier build. BMW just look in the back of your unit and see if that Bluetooth logo is there and if it is uh, give it a shot code it and activate it and see if you can activate it I had no issues doing mine but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, which coding you need to do to activate it to code the Bluetooth you're gonna want to use NCS expert and then you're gonna go to file and use the coding profile you use to code Mine's is called Coding Profile. So select it and press OK. Then you want to click F1 and then F3 and select E60. We need to add the Bluetooth module to the vehicle order. And so it's going to show your VIN and all your vehicle orders on the top. So you want to Go to F2 where it says enter FA and then select your E60 for the body module. It's going to show your VIN. And up here, what you want to add is plus K633 and click add. This is going to add the TCMU module to your, your vehicle. So you can see it got added. And then you also want to check that there's also 605 and 639. Once you confirm that, you can press OK. And now we got to write that to the vehicle. So you hit back, F6, F4, process ECU, select the CAS module, press OK, press OK. Now change job and select write, FA write and then hit execute job. I'm not going to hit it on mine because mine's already done. So it's going to say coding ended and once it says coding ended click F1 change ECU and then you want to do the same thing to the LMA module and select OK. Make sure it says FA right and then hit execute job again F3. Once it's ended now we're going to want to write to the Bluetooth module, the TCMU, so it should show on your list now. TCUM. And select OK. And press OK again. Now we're going to read this module so that we can edit the, the module. So press F4, read ECU. Once this popped up, it means I read it. You can exit that. Now go to your work folder. I have a shortcut on my desktop. Now open the FSW PSW TRC file. Go to edit, 
fine and you can type in Bluetooth hit next and you want to make sure under Bluetooth it says active it's probably gonna say niche active but you want to change it to active and so and then after that after you confirm it says active type in portable so that it can find the portable BT and make sure that says active as well mine already says active so I'm not gonna be changed so make sure it says active once you confirm that go to file and save it and then go to file again save as make sure in the bottom here save type as it says all files and put on here on the end dot man so make sure that you save it as all files so it doesn't save as a trc dot man file so once you know it's 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 a dot man under all files you can click save press yes exit that and go back to ncs expert you can change job and select this one SG Cardiran. Press OK. And you can execute job. That's going to write to the module, the Bluetooth module, to activate the Bluetooth. Once you're done, change ECU. And you want to select the CIC, or if you, in your case, you're going to have to select mask if you don't have navigation, or CCC if you do have navigation. And select read and we're gonna go through the same steps we did with the other module so you want to exit this and then we're gonna do the same steps as the we just did you're gonna read that file again and you're gonna look for these right here it's either the phone MULF phone business or phone prof one of those should be active you can't have all three of them active it's gonna be one or the other on some cars will be the first one or the second one or third one just save it the same way save save as and once you do that go ahead and change job again select that one and execute job and then that should be all you're needed to do for coding the Bluetooth to work all right now that you finished coding um, the next step is just to pair the phone to the car I will let you guys know heads up when I first coded my car um, it didn't show up right away the Bluetooth I even let it sit for like about 30 minutes to an hour and it still didn't show up so I just thought maybe it didn't work or I did something wrong the next morning it showed up so maybe it just needs to have the car completely go to sleep I didn't do anything different I just you know gave up that night the next morning I turned on my car and the Bluetooth menu was available so I thought that was pretty cool so just a heads up sometimes maybe you just might have to wait I remember I did it to another vehicle and his showed up without even waiting that long so I guess it just depends on the vehicle how long the computer takes to go to sleep um, pairing is really easy my screen might look a little different just because I'm using a CIC unit but you go to the Bluetooth menu you just go to add phone it's gonna say BMW 75417 that's just my vehicle it's gonna show the last five of your VIN so that's just it's not gonna don't look for that number it should say your VIN and so on my, you see, 75, so you go ahead and you just click it to pair on your phone. This is using an iPhone X, but it should be the same steps on all the phones. It's going to ask you to enter a pin. So you're going to make up a pin to connect to the phone. So go ahead and uh, enter a four-digit pin. And then it's going to ask you for the pin over here. So you go ahead and uh, enter the pin that you use on the phone. And then it should connect is connecting and there you go Roskink iPhone it's gonna ask you if you want to allow it to view your contacts you allow it and you can see up here it's now connected so um, hopefully if, uh, if you have an early build BMW e60 check the back um, like my case mine did not have Bluetooth so when I finally heard about this uh, way of coding it in on the earlier models like mine mine's a uh, 2004 and I coded it and like I said the next morning it showed up and I had hands-free Bluetooth calling so there's a lot of people out there that has done this and have had great results a lot of people don't know about it so hopefully if you have an early build you is a chance for you to get uh, a free Bluetooth pretty much um, the units back there already so there's not much besides a few coding so I'm, I'm hoping everyone can uh, activate it, activate it if they do have that Bluetooth module back there I um, appreciate everyone for watching all my videos, subscribing, the comments, the likes, 
for adding me on Instagram. I'm gonna try to keep posts more consistent now. Um, if you have any suggestions or any any things you want me to review, uh, comment below. I'm gonna try my best on uploading at least once every couple weeks um, some new products or coding stuff, anything I can just to keep the uh, my page a little bit more active. Thanks a lot for everyone for always watching.